In this tutorial, we create this twisty licorice stick that you see in the picture in front of you. As you can see, it's right over here. We used cycles in this case. Anyways, I hope you enjoy this tutorial. You can also view it in Eevee. It just doesn't look as good. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial and please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks. I thought I'd quickly show you how to make licorice sticks fast. Select your default cube. Go to your modify properties, add modifier. The first thing we want is a subdivision surface modifier and chuck this on four and four respectively. Press tab, go into edit mode, press numpad one and press S to scale Z on the Z axis and type in 20. And then once you've done that, press control R, click and then add the loop cuts at, the, at both ends. Do the same at the bottom, control R, click, Bring it all the way down. Something like that should be perfect. Press tab, go into object mode, right click, shade smooth, and it should be silky smooth. Press numpad seven to be in top orthographic view. Press G, chuck this over here, and you can press shift D to duplicate, X to lock in the X axis, and something like that should be the same. Shift D, and then we go, yeah. Once you've done that, you've got these three points selected, which is great. I'd like you to select all three of them and press Control J to join them. Once you've done that, we can use a new modifier called a screw modifier. And we need to, oh, not a screw modifier, I do apologize. A simple deform modifier and put on twist and Z axis. And then just change this rotation to something like 720. Let's go out of it and take a look, see how it looks. Perhaps 720 is not enough. Let's go 1440. Currently it's acting up, and so the way we fix that is press Control A, apply all, and we've just applied the scale so everything acts appropriately. Let's try 720 again. Perhaps 900, 1,200, no, 1,100, 1,000, oh, 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 1,000. Okay, 1,000 looks perfect for what I'm trying to do. That's our licorice stick. Now all we need to do is color it in. So we can pull this up here, yeah? change this to our shader, and we can select this principled BSDF and we can delete it and press shift A. And we could use a glass shader here and connect it. And then we're gonna choose red. Before we adjust anything, we need to change our render engine to cycles. We need to change our world to a random environmental texture. Find any environmental texture, go to HDR Haven. I just Google it, there's loads of free ones there to use. I'm just pulling up the one I tend to use for most of my tuts. And got a render view mode up here. It'll take a few seconds for my HDR to upload. There we go. So currently we have it here, but if we look carefully, if we press Control B, if your computer's still like mine, you might just wanna select a small section like this, zoom in it looks more like glass. So we do want, we want to increase the roughness to maybe 0 0.4. Right, so based on this, 0 0.4 seems right, but it still feels like glass, which means we need to use a mix shader here. So we press Shift A, shaders, and we're looking for mix shader, we'll chuck it in here. And we need a second shader, so we're gonna press Shift A, and let's see what we got. I'm thinking, Let's try Tune. I've never used Tune here before. Let's see how it works. And let's change this to a red. And the only thing we need to play around with is the factor. It's looking a lot better, a lot more realistic, but perhaps we can just use a quick texture for the factor. So let's go to textures and I am going to use the Voronoi texture. I'm sure there's better ones to use, but I'm just 
kind of having fun in this tutorial. Let's use that. Let's change this to not leave that. Manhattan. You can click on this control shift click to see how it looks. What happens when we change it to 4D? If we increase the scale perhaps. And leave this on, on zero, put this on 15. Quite happy with that. And then just to see how this looks, control shift your mix shader and there you have it. And yeah, that's pretty much it. We've, the texture looks realistic enough. If you, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.